saying I I don't wanna come down from your love We'll get lost together Let me fight Hey guys, it's Bree Seasony. Welcome to my channel. As you know, ATEEZ's latest EP, The World EP1 Movement, dropped today. So in this video, I'll give you my honest opinion on the title track, Gorilla, as well as the rest of the EP. But before we get into the video, I want to thank all of my lovely channel members, Vermillion, Misa, Panda Dami, aka Cozy, and Kaylin Castor. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate every one of you, and I hope you're enjoying my content. So now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Many of you probably know that I'm an a to &E. I got into ATs towards the end of 2019, and they're actually the first 4th gen group that I started to stand as someone who's been into K-pop since 2nd gen. So understandably, I was really looking forward to this comeback. I saw all of the concept photos and album trailers. Every piece of the puzzle set the stage for the concept, which I found really interesting. From the album trailers, we learned that ATs were revolting against a government or an establishment in which the people have been brainwashed to suppress their emotions. So ATs' goal here is to wake up the world or usher in a new world by revolting and inspiring others with their music. They are depicted in the trailers as a group of guerrillas. If you're not familiar with the terms guerrilla and more specifically guerrilla warfare, a guerrilla is a member of a small independent group taking part in irregular or unbalanced fighting. So this is typically against much larger and more well-equipped regular forces. In guerrilla warfare, the guerrillas usually take advantage of their small size and mobility, as well as the element of surprise and taking advantage of terrain, which is often difficult for the larger armed forces to use as a way to usurp power from the opposing force and ultimately win the battle or war. I thought this was a really interesting concept that was so fitting for ATs, and I couldn't wait to see how it would play out in the Gorilla music video and in the rest of the EP. I'd seen the Gorilla performance preview and the AT showcase before the World EP1 movement dropped, so I'd heard all of Gorilla before it was officially released. When I heard the full version during the showcase and again when I watched the music video, all of the thoughts that I initially had while watching the performance were confirmed. I was like, what in the Linkin Park? What in the Deftones? Slipknot? Corn? Okay, let me explain. When I listened to the performance preview of Gorilla for the first time, I was immediately like, oh, this is new metal influenced. New metal is a subgenre of alternative metal that combines elements of heavy metal music with elements of other genres like hip hop, alternative rock, funk, industrial, and grunge. So it's like a fusion from heaven. If you listen to Gorilla, you're hit with Hong Joon's impactful rapping first thing, and then there's this very dissonant sound throughout the song. I don't know what it is, but it almost sounds like a very distorted stringed instrument. Hong Joon ends his verse with a very alternative rock scream, and when Yoon Ho begins his part, you immediately hear heavy electric guitars come in that go into overdrive later during the chorus, especially during Jung Ho's crazy wailing vocals, which give me chills by the way. On top of that, during the last chorus, the guitars go into overdrive again, and we also have more of this alternative rock screaming that occurs in the first verse. All of these musical choices are consistent with new metal. So what I'm saying is, if you like new metal and grow up on bands like System of a Down, Korn, Deftones, Linkin Park, Slipknot, etc. like I did, this song is for you. And to be honest, I'm not surprised since Song Joon has covered Numb by Linkin Park on the AT's channel. Besides the new metal influences, which I'm a fan of, I think the song is incredible. There are enough deviations or switch ups in the song structure or melody to keep it interesting and engaging and have you guessing what will come next. Specifically, Yunho and San's pre chorus section after the first verse, and of course, the bridge and amped up final chorus. There's also some clever references to warfare in the song, such as Woo Young's Make a Move and the sound of a grenade clicking. The song is not stagnant at all, and the shifts in melody dynamics and tempo all allude to battle, and I love that about Gorilla. If it's too noisy for you or not your thing, I get it, but one thing that you can't say about Gorilla truthfully is that it's boring. For me, the highlights of the song were Hong Joon's verse for one, I think it's one of his best, and it really does grip you and make you want to listen to the rest of the song. I mean, this part right here. Nigga, 
jigga ball, jigga jigga doll, jiggy jigga jiggy ball, new work. New work! Jigga jigga ball, jigga 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 doll. That had me like, yes, go off. I also loved Mingy's verse, and I can see why it was left out of the performance teaser to kind of keep you guessing and keep the best parts of the song until the official release. I also cannot forget Songhua pre-chorus slayage and Yosang center, but I have to say my favorite thing about this song are the chorus and final chorus. I'm just gonna say it, Jung Ho is the best fourth gen vocalist. He's the best. You can argue with me in the comments if you want, but I said what I said. His rock star esque wailing, as I said, just gives me chills, and I think his voice suits this new metal concept so well. I mean, we've known this since AT's covered the Black Cat Nero, so it shouldn't be a surprise at all at this point that AT's slays rock like concepts. The final chorus was amazing too because it was so impactful. The screaming of Break the Walls ties in with the concept of this as a battle that AT's is in. The music video was incredible incredible too. Like, we had ATs disguised as white men and infiltrating a corrupt regime? We love to see it. One of my favorite scenes was Rock T's in the garage singing. This was for sure a throwback to all of those alternative rock music videos from the early 2000s where our favorite bands were just rocking out in the garage. And I also loved this scene where ATs seems to be reclaiming the territory by hoisting their flag. The music video was amazing with a lot of references to war, propaganda, and even anarchy. It was just so well done and the concept was translated flawlessly in my opinion. I'm hoping that we get a full performance video for Gorilla as well because as expected of ATs, the choreography was crazy. Gorilla will go down as one of my favorite ATs eras. I can honestly say as much as I enjoy Inception, which has been my favorite ATs title track since its release in 2020 and it's also probably my favorite K-pop title track from that entire year. I'm just so proud of Slaytees, I'm so proud of them. Now that I've expressed my undying love for Gorilla and new metal tees, let's move on to the rest of the EP. The World EP One Movement is, in my opinion, a very cohesive EP with no skips. Besides the title track Gorilla, my favorite tracks are Cyberpunk, which sounds very Taman esque if you know what I mean, and I love that. I also love The Ring, which is San's favorite from the EP, but all in all, it's really hard for me to pick one or two favorites from this EP because like I said, I feel like it's a very consistent work and it just has no skips. I also really like Sector 1, for example, which ATs is also promoting alongside Gorilla. WDIG, or Where Do I Go, is just deep and ethereal with all of its vocal effects and layers. New World is the perfect ending to this journey of an EP. It sounds both epic and final. I would recommend you check out the full EP because it really is fire and it's going to end up being one of my most listened to albums of this year. In short, Slay Tees will always slay, Jung Ho is the best 4th gen vocalist, and I want to know what you guys think about Gorilla and the World EP1 movement in the comments. What were your thoughts on Gorilla? Did you pick up on the new metal vibes too? What's your favorite track from the EP? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.